Bless your people through this worship experience and uh, draw us to yourself. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Well, thanks for tuning in, guys. And, you know, to get started, I thought it'd be really cool if we kind of go around and do some brief introductions. So we'll start with you, Leah. Say your name and how long you've been playing with the church. My name is Leah Ashby, and I'm not going to tell you how long I've been playing in the church because you will then figure out my age. But I've been pl playing in church, really, started about five or six years old on the organ and an accordion. Being a preacher's kid, they'll throw you out if you can't contribute. But I've been here five years, and I just love working with this group. My name's Truman. I've uh, been in this church playing for probably 10 years or so, something like that. Um, it's, been, it's been a privilege. It really has. And uh, mint chocolate chip is my favorite ice cream. Mine, mine too. Mine too. I am Austin McClenahan. I've been playing with the church for four years. And uh, yeah, nuts. And uh, music is the reason why I came to this church. And it's the best thing that ever happened. And I am Lisa Dowdy, and I've been here for two years, I think, and um, been in music all my life. Um, my dad was a musician, and um, that's how the Lord reached me, was through the medium of music. And I'm so thankful, and thankful for this church. They warmly welcomed me and allowed me to sing for you all every Sunday, and I truly, truly am blessed. Luke. One thing about Lisa, I chased her out in the parking lot and told her I heard that she sang. Jeff Walter told me that, said that girl can sing. So I chased her, ran her down, brought her back in here and made her sing. And he did not lie. Well, I'm so glad you chased her down. That's so, I think we're all benefiting from that. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, and I'm Luke Twombly. And you know, I've, I actually started coming around at the same time Austin started coming. Kind of a cool part of that journey. But yeah, about four years. And yeah, I've been playing the guitar, leading here. And it's been, it's been a privilege. Been done a lot of growing and a lot of uh, relationships building. And it's been, it's been a really great experience. So yeah, well, you know, uh, traditionally in this church, when we say God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. Well, on this final Worship Friday, let's, 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 let's uh, end on a really high, strong note, shall we? Amen. All right. Try that again. I, I had the wrong capo. Sorry, guys. This is more, uh, this is raw, uncut. We are not perfect. All right, let's sing every praise. Every praise is to our God, every word of worship with one accord, every praise, every praise is to our God. Let's sing that again. Every praise is to our God, every word of worship with one accord. Every praise, every praise, every praise. 
every praise, every praise is to our God, every word of worship with one accord, every praise, every praise is to our God. That thought going out with a bang, I don't know what is. Every praise is truly due our God. In this next song, we're going to sing, uh, Oh, Praise the Name. You know, from the four years that, you know, I've been here, I've seen this song really just really speak to the church. And it's almost like a, it's like one of the anthems here at Waynesboro FM Church. And I don't think it'll ever get old. And I can't think of a better song to end on um, for these Worship Friday videos than this song. So we're just gonna start off singing. We'll keep it real light and really contemplative. So if you're out there, sing at the top of your lungs. I cast my mind to Calvary where Jesus bled and died for see his wounds, his hands, his feet, my Savior on that cursed tree. His body bound and drenched in Joseph to the entrance sealed by heavy stone, Messiah still and all alone. salvation is because he conquered death and we're going to take some time to hear Austin's testimony on that man when I was six years old uh, I learned how to play these drums not these drums but drums and uh, it was the only happiness and joy it was my it was my comfort it was my foundation um, it was everything that the only thing that brought me pure happiness and uh, for the longest time I could never uh, figure out why why I couldn't find anything besides drums to bring me joy and peace um, <laughs> funny enough 
my whole life until I was about 20, I was also an atheist. Uh, I didn't believe in God. I didn't believe that his word was true. Um, I thought you were a fool if you followed him, and I turned my back on him. I sure didn't love him. Uh, so that I thought at the time. And then the springtime of 2017 came around, and uh, my next door neighbor came over and talked to me, and um, happened to be Pastor Chris at the pastor at this church at the time, and he's always heard me playing drums and make a loud noise, and uh, we got to talking about music, and I don't know where he just said, will you, will you come play with us? Will you come play with us one Sunday? And um, me being an atheist, I said, no way. There's no way I'm doing that. Uh, that's, that's the opposite of what I want to do. Um, but the Lord chose different words to come out of my mouth on that day. He, he, he chose the words, yes to come out of my mouth. And yeah, I could have not shown up and I could have not came anyways, but something kept pulling me to this building. Something kept pulling me this way. And when I, when I showed up on that Sunday, I, I, you know, I thought I was gonna burn into ashes. I thought I was gonna, man, even if there is a God, I'm too far gone, I'm too far broken. I have too much sin and I've already rebuked his name. There's no way he has anything to do with me. And then uh, we started playing this song right here. It, it wasn't people singing lyrics on a sheet or singing lyrics on a, on a screen. It was people praising a name bigger than anything that they know. It was someone praising a name that's redeemed them. It was somebody praising something that was bigger than sin. That's something that conquered death. They were praising something that was truth in their heart. I saw sinners praising about freedom. And, and after each line that was being shouted out, I started feeling a weight on my heart. And I think people talk about when they first feel the Holy Spirit, it was all joy and happiness. My first initial feeling was scary because all I felt was more and more weight being just added onto my heart. More, it felt like a dagger was being stabbed into my side. I didn't know what was going on. I was scared as these people were shouting. I didn't know what was happening. I, it felt like everything that I knew, my entire foundation was just getting teared apart. Everything that I thought was true was just getting ripped apart piece by piece. So everything that I knew was just being taken away from me and it was scary and I, I was almost like a dam trying to keep all this water up because I didn't want to didn't want to let any of it loose because I didn't know it was going to come and then we sang this third verse and then on the third at the break of dawn the son of heaven rose again oh trample death where is your sting the angels roar for Christ, the King. And when that moment was seen, that dam broke. And I was flooded with the Holy Spirit. I was flooded with God's love, mercy, and grace upon me. He said, it's okay the things that you've done. It's okay the things that you've said about me. I still love you. You are still mine, and I'm redeeming you in my name because my grace is sufficient for you. My grace can take everything away from you. My grace is for you, and you are mine now. And in that moment, I fell on my knees. I couldn't even finish the song because I was just in tears because my whole life was transformed in that moment because of his grace. So I'm going to ask if we can do this third verse again and just remember that God is the king of kings and not even death can hold him back.
good like, all the time. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks for being here. Let us continue praising his name now and forevermore.